It's McKenchy Critiques. It is McKenchy Critiques. Let's get something straight yeah. It's called McKenchy Critiques. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Not McKenchy Dick Rides Your Favorite Anime. Kenshi Critiques from Kenshi Dick Rides a Favorite Anime. Welcome to a live reaction, all in one live reaction, to Gundam Thunderbolt Season 1. Well, also Gundam Thunderbolt Season 1, four episodes. I'm going to do more together. Uh, so let's get into this, man. Return to Gundam again. Let's see how good this is. I, like you guys might remember, and I hope you watched it. I hope you're watching along with each of the Gundams that do that. Uh, eighth MS team was really good. I think it just fumbled at the end, man. It just fumbled the end. It had a love story which fucking... It was actually the love story that ended up fucking up the series at the end. And weird motivations and r wrapping it up. And people gave me reasons and excuses why things get wrapped up. It doesn't change the fact that, you know, it was rushed and fumbled and all that kind of stuff. But it had so much potential. It was such a great show. Themes, you know, imagery, all that stuff. Vietnam War stuff. It was great attention to detail. But it fumbled it, man. Honestly, it's not one of the strongest ones for me. I mean, I think Origin is still up there. We were, um, the War in Pocket is still up there. It's maybe, not maybe, it's better than the MSG for sure. At least from what I saw the compilation films. So what I'm trying to do, let's get to it. Let's hope this Thunderbolt's better. I really want something to top work, uh, War in Pocket because nothing's topped that yet, man. So uh, Thunderbolt Season 1, Episode 1, come on. Really quiet open. Mobile suit got up that double. <laughs> Look at that animation. <laughs> Through a car away. This is a colony that's been destroyed. Glad to hear. Oh wow! <laughs> Pretty artsy, man. For a gun. Oh god. She. I didn't have my fucking things in. My headphones there. That animation looks fucking insanely good. Better than Origin, man. This one's a great piece. <laughs> Did you pick this one the other day? Pirate Radio. Bit of the waves. <laughs> Double me a copy there. <laughs> Look at that animation. Now, one of the short episodes. Put myself dodging past every. <laughs> Guys, getting harder. So, this also takes place during the One Year War, right? Holy shit, look at that attention, man. Huh? The detail. You cook. <laughs> Tissues, nice. <laughs> nice. I honestly hope there's no love story in this, man. Let me slap his nest. More the side force, but it's called. The Thunderbolt Sector, so that's what it's named after. It's final stage. There. Yeah. 
my comrades. Oh, uh, what do you mean? He's all chill with his buddies there. But well, what's his real thoughts on it? Nah, we're just born together, so we fight together. I like the jazz soundtrack. And they actually don't use the CG, at least not what I can tell. Some CG. Free jazz. Gives me a cowboy bebop vibe. Just floating in space. Thunderbolt. <laughs> oh, God. Shit. Too much light. Oh, fucking hell. Shit. You always forget that, that, that they're not sitting in the, the, the head. They're sitting in the mid-center. Oh. Holy shit. Sniping. Oh, God. Dave, what a name, man. <laughs> How they're spotting us. Side four. Oh my god. Shit. This seems such like a glorious scene, right? When they go getting destroyed. Who the hell is this? My man's just chilling. Oh my god. I'll have another wrist. Iron Cross. Wow, they want the glory. Now we see the Z on side. Oh, he's got prosthetics. Maybe he's lost a lot, man. I thought this song was I'm having the time of my life. I've had the time of my life. And take some iron. Decorating, man. Look how much you've given up already. Your legs, man. Oh, wow. They hope. Fetty normal suit. Wow, this is no way they're, they're ready for this. My man got through. When he ejected, he got through, right? His his little unit is ejected. Oh my god, that guy used all that chaos to get through. It's like a little. It's like having an ant inside your shirt, man. A crippled motherfucker like you take your wimpy punch. <laughs> How does he know that? Next time we meet. Daryl Lawrence. I don't remember him. They're drawn so similarly. <laughs> Fleming. Oh. <laughs> this war has gotten heated. I mean, you can tell this is towards the end of the war, right? Uh, people are... Uh, they definitely look like people who lost a lot. Who are kind of bitter about the war. They're like jaded about even the term comrade, right? When they lost so much. Oh, my shoulder, man. Let's go. Lorenz. Lorenz. So who's this going to focus on? Which side? I'm guessing both. 
with Thunderbolt Sector, right? So it's gonna Fanny sign. You can hear it. Royal teens. Oh, <laughs> Royal teens. <laughs> Holy shit! The banter, man. Damas plans the mission. Which Damas is this? Mechanics on that thing, nice. Reverse engineer that shit. Eeyore Fleming. That guy's got sly dark grin and like dark fucking thing in his eyes, man. There we go. Lorenz. I swear Xeon facilities are so dated and just like trash, man. Loads of names being thrown around. If some of these characters are memorable, I remember. If not, shit. Oh, her tears are flowing, man. So wicked. That oh my days. That kid's lost his arms as well. You can tell this is this is way into a war, an escalating war. Rick Dom. They're probably questioning the leadership right now. I mean, these guys aren't of kind of acting like the Freddies I knew from the previous series. They look fucking defeated. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at the animation though. Wow. The position is weakening, man. No. <laughs> Quality time with our man. Privileged. Zero was allowed to invade and start holding. Propaganda for the Moor Brotherhood. <laughs> or do you see that? Oh dear. Entranced. <laughs> In a blanket of night. Look at my boy Lorenz. I think I like this guy more than anyone. Signal. 
kill that man on sight. He doesn't seem that likable, to be honest. Can I get some painkillers? Hmm. Take more than usual tonight. Wow. Shit. <laughs> Why doesn't he carry tissues with him, man? <laughs> Fuck it up. Why is this guy with so many tissues? It's a ritual. Look, he's fucking packing heat. These mobile suits have become way more advanced as the war's gone on. This is a Gundam. My man's got fucking four. Like Gilgamesh. Like the Gilgamesh of Gundams. Holy shit. I think they decked him out, right? Because he's the only one. The power is wanted. Fucking hell. Lend me your power. Shit. This guy's personality is totally different from any MC I've seen in Gundam. Fuck. Carnage. For F I like this first person view we're seeing right now. Oh crap! <laughs> That's a brilliant way to shoot something like the first person. They're the gun saber. Fuck! It reminds me of Kratos in uh, killing uh, Zeus in uh, God of War. <laughs> it's jazz. High mobility rules. Living dead. Is that why they call them living dead? Because they're basically corpses with prosthetics on. Fuck. The feddies. Kind of. It's like a demon man to them. I mean, I understand Zeon fired first. Oh, wow. Zeon fired first. And a whole bunch of. When the sniper was taken out, a whole bunch of them. But, uh, Ensign, what's his name? Oh, God. Eeyore. He's so fucking unlikable, right? Cocky bastard. I'm more with uh, Lorenz, man. Dun. It might be more after the credits. It seems awfully long for this. In the blue month has passed. It's true. Stain. Cho chocolates very dear Does it say very dear? Very <laughs> I know it's a style of singing, but come on, pronounce it right. On your knees I hope for your words of pleasure <laughs> Sprinter crowd Ching down. Best Valentine's Day was. I know for sure because pray for a good night. That jazz. Go to sleep. My blue. <laughs> these sentences don't make sense. <laughs> Some of these sentences. <laughs> this seems to be a bit more. B 
but the thing oh it's a preview oh, I'm gonna not look at this fuck so much good tone Let's look at these previews alright we're going on to the second one now Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt Season 1 Episode 2 come on Music's nice. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I fell down. It seems almost like they're trying to cover, cover do their own, not even covers, do their own versions of existing songs. That's, they sound so similar. Oh, what the hell? Is this his dad? Shit. Now we get to know a bit more about him. Father liked. I like it. Fucking tissue. What's it then? Don't know. Scientists. We the forces. Space noids. Damn man. The Living Dead Unit. That's such a wicked name for them. Does it tingle your brain? Shit, look how much they lost, man. Young, man. Considering how young they would have lost them. I mean, they must be hurting for recruits, man, if they, you know. So the, the nerves are like linked into them. Psycho device movement test. Wow. They're literally an extension of them. I think we're seeing a flashback now. Back when he had legs, right? <laughs> the flashbacks of their lives. So we've seen briefly how much they lost. Oh crap, that's where he must have lost it. Fuck. Both sides had things, right? Shh. Wow. Shit. Look how hard, hard he worked to get where he is, man. Oh, shit, you remember that? Shit, everyone's got a steak, man. Shit. Huh? 
much better. Do it away. Mm, nice. Little bell cherries. Not cherries. <sighs> bell tomatoes. <laughs> His soundtrack suits him so well, his kind of uh, personality, and the music for uh, Lorenz suits him really well. Thunderbolt Scepter. Ghosts bound to their dream. Can someone tell me how side four got destroyed? Is it just assumed that it was destroyed in a in a in the middle, in the battle somewhere? Have well, we seen it already, side four get destroyed? Maybe I've seen it, I might have forgot. Pretty cool now, let's see what they do. If you avenge your comments. Shoulder, neck. Murata. They're literally fighting in rubble, amongst the rubble. <laughs> no one's back in there. You can tell this is like almost. Oh my god. It's just for the sake of pride and revenge now that they're fighting. For her. Cowley Cobras. Fuck it, he'll soon get sorted that out. Destroy them and the debris. What's in the gun now? It's too fast. Another decoy. Holy shit! <laughs> he must really want it bad. He got. Oh man. This guy just loves the fucking killing, man. Was his dad on on uh, side four colony and committed suicide or something when they knew that the the it would get destroyed by the federate I mean the Zeon? It seemed like he committed suicide. Is that one person? Peg legs. Oh shit! Here we go. How lucky is this guy? <laughs> Shit. Yeah, he's using him as a shield. Fuck it, now that's despicable, man. That's despicable, man. But see, Zion will let her die, man. They lost legs and they're still fine. Arms and legs. Come at me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm with Lorenz, man. I don't give a fuck if uh, thing gets shot down. Making me creep <laughs> my chance of velocity. Nah, you're a bit too cocky, man. Burn, baby, burn. Oh my. Look at that carnage, he loves it. 
That guy's still got a fucking soul, man. Shit. You little shit. <laughs> oh. What? Was there like a flash grenade or was it a genuine explosion that happened? Someone got away. Okay, that, that, what was that? Oh, I love the sound design. Outreach. Shit. They're fucking completely fucking surrounded. What's happened to friggin' uh, Lorenz, man? Anyway, again. <sighs> Christmas. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I think they're definitely all skewing to the side of him right now. So that's good. Mm. My boy. That was just a flash grenade type thing. I think the other uh, ear was worried that new hand for you. A hand? Okay. So. Man, these guys have lost fucking so much, man. So much. Honorable death. Experimental unit. Everyone's got some new experimental unit, man. Like, it's just escalating the war till there's nothing left of anyone, man. This is what their machines do, man. Is there no hope for a fucking treaty or something? Like, you know, a war can go on so long, you forget why you even started the war in the first place sometimes. That's the problem with war. It escalates to the point where... Friend, foe, reasons, ideology, just forget all that shit. It's just about the killing and it's a cycle of revenge, man. Naturally. Man, how much more can he lose? Amputate his right hand. Give up my humanity too. It's also a thing that they're willing to give up so much. Not just be having things taken. In prison for treason. Out of fatherland. Glorious Zeon. Look at that. Now we get to see the, the extremist ideology, right? Like, that they really believe in. Like, no, they, they believe in it extremely, is what I mean. So what is this? What is this? Everyone's trying to bring bring new tools to bear to the war. The game of his other hand as well. He can send it out. I think is that what they want? They want the 
they want it, the nerves to attach naturally to whatever it is that they're going to put him in. God, this is like this reminds me of Gear, man. The Grey Fox, you know? It reminds me of Raiden as well. He's just a fucking floating jar, a floating brain in a, in a glass case and, and a spinal cord shoved in a metal body, man. Where does where do you draw the line, right? He's going to be completely machine at this point. I love that. Wow. Fucking hell. At this point, they might as well have pilotless fucking Zeeks and shit, man. They're all robot. This is the true power of the Ryu Psycho device. They, they just think that their experimental weapons is better than the other experimental weapons, and they each one up in each other. And this war goes on. I'll be all cry for joy and pain. I like it. I like a nice condensed episode. From and there's two seasons, so that's good as well. Alright, we're going to episode three now. Nah. That's good. That was a good episode. I like that. I like this. Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt Season 1 Episode 3. Come on. Fuck it. <laughs> They're back in heat. More breath of sea. She's in her panties, man. <laughs> They were they were fucking well well supplied, man. Little princess can't handle it. there she is. Why she's a figurehead at best. They shoved her in a fucking commander's seat and fucking she can't do shit. Yeah. Get high, bitch. Get high, bitch. Get raped. All mobile suits are there for in storage. Pe people going out to die for your fucking heritage. Look at that, the kids. Little kids they're conscripting, man. What this fucking. This is why Federation is despicable, man. The more time goes on, the more I fucking hate the Federation, man. Federation fucking swing a big dick around. We need your sons and your daughters. Little patriots. Little patriots. <laughs> Did she overdose? What the fuck is going on? Yep, you stupid bitch. <laughs> exactly. Fucking slag. <laughs> you open, I call Claudia a slag, right? <laughs> so I just use slag interchangeably for just a, a woman of ill character. Man. <laughs> Death of the more citizens. To order people off to their death. Chill like cannon fodder. He enjoys the carnage out there, man. A big promotion. He almost doesn't care why they get sent out. He just loves that there. Whoa. Poor guy, man. He's got fucking prosthetic arm. Oh. They got his... Oh, man. That one has to insert in, right? Oh, 
on my face. It is, man. See? It's so fucking tragic. This is kind of so fucked up, don't you think? Every one of them has lost something. Eye, legs, ears, fucking... The honor to have been chosen. They send them out. Like, if any of you sending kids out, these guys send in basically invalid people out with prosthetics. Showed it up big, didn't we? I mean, you had a high life. You guys had the high life. I'm dreams about that then. Turn into drugs. Isn't actually enjoying it. He's just the type of person who feels alive when there's. Oh, okay. All right. Well, however he justifies it. Madness of war. I truly pity him. My boy Daryl, man. Daryl Sabah. They're little kids. They're going to get killed out there. They think this is a game. The fag will conserve its resources. <laughs> Should the enemy flee an ace sniper? They just want them out of the territory, man. Fuck. Offering, offering as many as they can. The cycle of planning and fighting in missions. Uh, throwing up. Is this fucking cold turkey? She's going. I love more suits. I can't help but like machines that make me stronger. Oh, he's taking command. Nice. Let's see the gates of hell. Good my fellow disposable comrades. See, they don't give a fuck. This how it's how late into the war this is. It's gonna be towards the end of the war. Is there an outcome to this at any point? Is there an outcome to the war? Is does Zion win or does this thing win or is it still going? Thunderbolts just came out, didn't it? Or still going or whatever it is. There's gonna be an ultimate outcome. Like an end story to it to a one universe or whatever. Innocent children. Oh fuck off, man! As many of you that can, um, some some of them are gonna die. That's tragic enough. That was a story. And you know what? What's sad of all is Daryl and fucking Lorenz is gonna be killing someone. Tell me that if I continue my research, my phone. My phone made. Kept on fighting. Mm. We'll survive. <laughs> it's not the enemy, it's this irrational world we live in. Wow. This guy's a. And it might even be considered a miracle to get out of this moment. Why continue to fight for life's fortune and If you know it's so fucked, you just do it for the sake of it. You're just giving up your life for nothing. No one will remember the sacrifice. All this nationalist. Not even national. Like almost nationalistic style prime. I want to smile. Oh, hi. I hope he survives to be honest. 
I apologize for not being able to give a salute. Wow. Got speed. This is just going to become a graveyard, man, honestly. Numbers, yeah. The kids, that's another kid down. Kids are getting massacred. Oh my god. My friend was. Look at that. You just sent a bunch of kids into a. Look at that. And you know, that's so sick of me, right? Calling a bunch of candles on a birthday cake. Some of them can barely get fucking 16, 17 candles onto the cakes. Oh my god, man. I didn't even know why. Apple tart. <laughs> I love apples, man. Apple uh, pie, apple turnovers, apple tarts. No, it beats it, man. What? Nope. Oh my god. I'll come join you soon. Oh my days. These are just kids. You just you send these kids into a crap shoot, man. The Federation is so fucking dumb. They think numbers is gonna sort it, right? It's kids. They, they, all the veterans are fucking getting, dying or getting killed. They got nothing left. I hope the Federation loses, man, to be honest. Just get your independence. Let them go. Like, what's, what was wrong with letting them secede? Like, I mean, I haven't got to work on that weapon. I've got to realize more than one now. It, what is it? Who's right? Should Zeon just be allowed to secede? Federations really were stopping them. Or should Zeon just give up on this fatherland or maintaining the fatherland? Is it even worth maintaining? So that's the thing. Come to a truce. Just let men succeed, go independent. You'll be fine. Daijoubu desu. It's a Gundam. That, do you know like red, they call him the red comet, right? Uh, thing. That looks like a fucking blue comet. Blue comet, right? <laughs> Every one of these series has to have a Shah standing. I've noticed that. Most of these, sh they have somebody who's like a shard standing. Oh, shit. Oh, man. The music. Okay, who's 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 gonna win? That prototype or fucking things Gundam? I was Gundam or E was Gundam? Fucking a zipping around like. A... My boy Daryl's doing it. It's just glorious. There's a sadistic edge to this show, right? It's like carnage, destruction, glorious jazz music play. <laughs> and then it shows you at the same time how futile it is. Oh, nice. Fuck it. Look at the animation. Adrenaline. This guy looks like a boss. Oh shit. 
face down the end and uh, look at that. People just dying in a glorious explosion of <laughs> shit. Is that Just when he became fucking commander, man. Useless elites. Useless elites, yeah, shoot him, man. Now the cracks begin to show. Glory or more. I'll take you death. <laughs> That's the point they're trying to make, man. People are dying for these fuckers' wars, man. Look at that glorious death. This I I said this place will become a graveyard for everyone, and it is. They're fighting over scraps. They're literally fighting over scrap heap. It's just for revenge now. There isn't a sector there worth saving now. <laughs> Their trump card is still out there, yeah. Red versus blue. <laughs> it's you, isn't it? Fuck! Here we go. Which one's gonna win out? Wow. There's a okay. There's gotta be a post credit after this. This the ending way too early. I've had the time of my life. <laughs> Sounds like that. I've had the time of my life. <laughs> Out the body in the engine. Oh, she can't. They just, they just paste the, the, the lyrics to fit the song. I've noticed that in Japan. When they do English, they just fucking butcher the, the sentence and just create a, a, a random paste to shove it into the this beat. Will be then the sweetest couple. Like kind of bullshit. <laughs> um. I'll fetch your eye tomorrow night. <laughs> I'm listening and I'm always listening. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This reminds me of uh, it grew on me, right? The L O T G H English in the last season. This one, sorry, <laughs> you got one episode to, to fucking convince me, but you didn't. Please tell me they're going to extend this credit so long. Why is it, it's not even 17 minutes. The episodes are like, you are like, most of the chunk of the last couple of minutes is just credits. Fill it with meaningful content. La la la, oh 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 Come on, is there pre? It's gonna be a preview. It's not even gonna be content. I hate the, this. Is why I should have watched it as a film, man. I hate the fucking pauses in between. 
Yep, it's a preview. Uh, I think I should have watched the film. It would have worked better as a film because there's one giant uh, like a skirmish or. Alright, last episode, Mobile Suit Gundam, Thunderbolt Season 1, Episode 4, come on. It would have been easy to edit as well. Finding out where I stopped the episode and start, I just can't be bothered. If there's a film for Thunderbolt Season 2, let me, uh, guys, up, upload that. If, if there isn't, then I'll watch it as a series then. Here we go. Reinforcements, the wild cards. Zeon has a difficult with reinforcements. Nice. Fuck. This is a battle. Like these, these are the most advanced Zeeks and Gundams I've seen. Zaku's. <coughs> it's amazing. Your mobile suit is amazing. Even my own limbs. Fuck it, nah. Ecstasy. Chiba ball. I even shot some. Mm. It makes sense to the man. So <laughs> <coughs> Every bit of the machine feels like part of Daryl, right? So he's he's really put, pulling his weight in that. Simulation. Now you can start playing hide and seek. And is it common for me to want the Federation MC to die? Like, in every fucking series I've seen in, in thing, I've always wanted the Feddy to die. WIP, you had a, a neutral guy and a, Z, a Zeke. Well, it best, I, well, the only time we actually loved, loved both MCs. You train for this day. Nah. Yeah. See, I like the fact that now in this Gundams aren't a figure to be revered and, and you know fawned over. That they are they are instruments of fucking war and they are vicious. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Khan. This explosion engulfed the whole ship. Put it into this nightmare. See, I knew this would become a graveyard for everyone. Straight on, man. <laughs> the futility. You're now our prisoners. They're singing their final song, man. Who has the highest rank? See, you forget everything. You forget why you're fighting, who the leaders are, the order, the rank of command. This definitely feels like an end of a piece of shame to become POWs. Yeah. Daryl, I won't let you die alone. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll be with you. 
se this is such a glorious death this is six zero what is going on Enough is enough. Hate to kill each other. You're right, man. Enough. Yeah, just give up. Fuck the fatherland. Fuck Federation. And move on with life. Get out of the war. Fucking escape. Desert. Plan B. Oh my god. We've had our fair share of grief too. How much are you willing to lose, man? Did you know there used to be a colony? Exactly. That's right. There's this to Yeah. yeah. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Shit. Six tough as nails. Shit. <laughs> They're all about making scientists at the end of the day, so. <laughs> I'm all in. All in, man. Oh, man. It's a bloodbath. Oh god! See, you, see you. why is it not working? Why is nothing going to plan? Oh my god! Maybe face on his side. Oh fuck! Shit! Graveyard. God. This is so bleak. Who is this? Oh, wow. <laughs> the dreams of what could have been. Unfulfilled fucking dreams, man. Last thing you ever hear. <laughs> this guy's still banging on about his jazz. <laughs> Rubbing salt to the wound, man. Wow, man. Fuck. What is going to happen? It resuscitated the guy almost. <laughs> what fucking fate is on his side? Oh, uh, let's hope he makes it, man. But now they have her, so. Oh my god, right? The head unit. Min units are fine. Why can't I beat you? <laughs> God, I understand now. Meeting you is my miracle. Where's the hell is that? Oh, shit.
Honestly, these are going to be the friggin' two lone warriors left in this graveyard. It might have to be their decision to just fucking walk away, man. Are you kidding me? No hassle. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't be him. <laughs> oh my god. Now who's now who's rubbing salt, right? Now who's rubbing salt? Oh well. She's gone nuts. Let's see. She does go. Psycho Zaku. I thought it's can be mass produced. Maybe just leave it, man. We can tell events the most mediocre pilots are super soldiers. That foreshadowing to what's to ne come what's to come next. We have to take them. Shit. Torture is a great offense. Bloody hell. Shit. You're flaming. Former mayor side for okay, so Villainous pile of the gun. Beautifully butchered body. The gun. Do I could be really swing Oh my god. Everyone's kind of fucked up in the head after this battle, man. Doesn't it feel great? Yo, the Wobble Crave at the same time. Shit, he felt that ecstasy in it. Do what it is. Shit, look at that face. It over just yet. Wow, shit. The war way over yet, man. Like, give me the film version of Thunderbolt Season 2, uh, Kaiser, if you can. I'd rather watch it that way, man. There's not going to be a post credit scene. This music's going to go on. And it's going to be. Alright, people. That was really entertaining. I'm glad there's a season two. I think it needs a season two after that, man. I think these characters are compelling. I think 
even though I don't really, he's unlikable, uh, Ayo Fleming. I think he's just a really interesting character to go up against someone like Daryl, who you can kind of root for. But even Daryl is kind of becoming, is going to become an edge lord, man, after those experiences and shit. I think that's it's interesting, man. What war does to someone, I think that's what they're exploring in, in this particular show, is the way it warps people and how futile it is. I think even more futile than, than you know, uh, some of the other sh seasons showed. Because the other seasons showed they had objectives and, you, you, they, and you, we were all invested in them completing those objectives as though it was going to be a good thing. And slowly but surely, as I've seen Gundam, I feel, I feel as though it's become even more anti-war. It's like just become straight up anti-war. It's not as simple as just, oh, the Fedis are the guys that we root for. We see it from, we always start with their perspective almost. And War and Pocket was more neutral, and it was more, even the Zeke guy was was kind of like, trying to avert the uh, destruction and needless death and all that kind of shit, so. Uh, thank you guys for watching, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter for the latest direction reaction updates, all these are below, Discord details below, click the icon on the bottom right to subscribe, turn that notification and bell on so you get my uh, updates for when I do Thunderbolt Season 2. Uh, thank you very much for watching.